This tutorial demonstrates how to create drive time rings with Maptitude mapping software. Note that while I'm using the Canada Country Package in this tutorial, the steps are the same regardless of what country package you are using. Click this button, or choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Drive Time Rings to display the Drive Time Rings toolbox. By default, the Click Origin Points tool is chosen. You can use this tool to click on the map at one or more origin locations like this. Or, you can use a point layer. I'm going to use my store layer to compute the drive time rings around the stores, so first let me clear these stops, and then click this button. Now I can choose my store layer for the origin points, and I'll use all features in the layer and create three rings at 10 minute intervals. Notice, I can also choose whether to base the rings on travel time or distance using the Here Street layer provided with Maptitude. Now click this button to create the drive time rings. Maptitude determines the rings, adds them to the map, and sets the scale of the map to show the entire layer. Everything within this red ring is within a 10 minute drive of a store, and each successive ring is within an additional 10 minutes. Notice that most of my customers are in one of the three drive time rings and thus within 30 minutes of a store. The drive time rings are stored in a temporary file. Click this button, to save the rings to a file if you plan to save the map for future use. Finally, you can click this button to calculate demographics and other attributes for the rings you created. Before I do that, however, I'm going to first customize how the demographics are calculated so that I can also collect some information about my customers. So first I'm going to click the Options button, and then click this button to customize the demographics. For each ring, I want to know the number of customers and their total sales. So I'll choose my customer layer from this drop down list and choose to send the sales field in the customer layer. There are several other options worth noting in the Drive Time Rings configuration dialog box. Check this box to create a formatted report of the Drive Time Rings that will include a map and the calculated demographics. I will leave this checked so that you can see what the report looks like. You can choose whether to calculate the demographics as individual or cumulative rings. For example, when this is unchecked, my second ring will have calculated demographics for just the orange area that is 10 to 20 minutes from a store, and my third ring will have demographics for just the purple area that is 20 to 30 minutes from a store. If checked, my second ring will have demographics for the cumulative 0 to 20 minutes, and the third ring will have demographics for 0 to 30 minutes. And finally, you can check this box if you want to treat the origins separately. By checking this box, you can compare stores. I'm going to leave this box unchecked because I'm interested in the total population and customers near any store rather than specific stores. Now that I've configured the drive time rings to include my customer data, I can click OK to return to the toolbox and click this button to calculate the demographics. Maptitude displays the report with the results. You can see that it has the map on the first page and the demographic results on the second page. You can see that there are approximately 133,000 people within 10 minutes of my stores, 368,000 people who are 10 to 20 minutes from a store, and 382,000 people 20 to 30 minutes from a store. You can also see the median income is fairly similar regardless of the distance from a store. And at the end of the report you'll see the count of customers within each ring and their total sales. If you go to the File menu, you'll see that you can print a report or export it to other formats such as PDF, HTML, or Microsoft Excel. When I close this report, you can see that there's a data view with the same overlay results that were in the report, including the income and population data, and if I scroll to the right here, the customer data. That wraps up this tutorial on creating drive time rings.